Astrophotography can take a lot of processing power, and my old laptop just wasn't cutting it anymore. I was starting to find it less enjoyable and more of a tedious task to have to sit around and wait for things to render and process as I was going through my images of the planets and deep sky objects. I looked around at Dell and HP to see what they had to offer for a new purchase, but I just wasn't pleased with their products and their price ranges. So my brother suggested that I build my own PC. This is something I had never done before and I initially found it to be a very overwhelming idea. But after a few months of research and following some build series on some tech websites and YouTube channels, I've put together a brand new desktop PC that I'm really pleased with. Today we're going to take a look at what specific parts I picked for video editing and astrophotography and how you could build your own PC to help you out in this exciting field. Let's take a look. I began with the most important part for the software that I'm working with, the CPU. I ended up going with the 6-core, 12-thread AMD Ryzen 3600 running on a B450 Tomahawk Max motherboard. In fact, if your budget allows it, an 8-core or 12-core CPU would be even more beneficial for some of the demanding processing that can go on. For RAM, I went with 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance DDR4. And so far, that's been more than enough RAM to work with the applications that I'm using. My operating system and applications are running on the incredibly fast Western Digital 500 gigabyte NVMe M2 drive, with larger files and backup storage being held on a separate internal hard drive. While most of my applications for astronomy won't use the GPU much, I still wanted to go with something that was new and energy efficient. So I went with the Radeon RX 5500 XT with 4GB of RAM. To keep the system running, I went with a 550 watt Bronze Plus rated Corsair power supply. For my case, I chose the Fantix Eclipse P300 that has a nice tempered glass finish to it. The monitor is obviously an important part for editing my pictures, so I went with a 24-inch 1080p Dell display with 99% sRGB coverage. I've really enjoyed using this new PC for astrophotography and video editing, and was pleasantly surprised at how easy of a process it was to put together. If I could give some advice to those of you looking to build a PC, it would be to spend at least a month researching all of the components that you want to put in it. Secondly, stick to your budget and space your buying over a few weeks to track prices and look for good deals. Lastly, follow solid tutorials on tech websites and YouTube channels while putting together the actual PC. If you've built a PC for astronomy or any other reason, please like this video and let me know in the comments section below what parts you chose and how that build went for you. Thank you so much for your continued support and be sure to subscribe to Late Night Astronomy.